Hello, my name is Quentin Lowry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure our 56 EATM OPC UA server module. First, you obviously need to have that hardware. You need to plug it into a Control Logics rack. By default, the port's going to be 192.168.1.250. Plug that into the network, then I'll get on a PC, download our free appliance manager software that I'm showing here and put the IP address of that module. If you've previously connected to it, it saves it down here. So I can just click on this one. That's the one we're gonna be interfacing with. Username and passwords, admin, admin, and we can log in. See the basic general settings here, uh, configure the time, the ethernet ports, etc. cetera. I'm not gonna show you all those details today. I'm gonna to try to keep this quick for everybody. You obviously need to connect to your PLC. By default, it populates what's in rack with that controller. So to connect to a module in rack, it's pretty simple. Click on it, create configuration, give it whatever name you want, hit save. It'll take it a few seconds. It should turn green. You can also add them out the front ports of the module itself. So to do that, I can click right here, right click, connect to a new module on this network, Compact Logics. You gotta tell it which ethernet port you're going out of on the 5060 ATM module itself. The IP address of that compact logics. Hit save. It should turn green as well. It means we have access to that. We gathered those tag lists and we pulled it into the module. Now we can click on that guy, hit tag list, go through here and you can set the tags to be just visible or give the OPC UA clients the ability to write values to those tags. So I can say make tag writable. So it's obviously visible and you can write values to it from your OPC UA client if you wanted to do that or just visible. You can, we support UDTs and arrays as well as you can see. So you just pick whichever tags you want and close that out. We can do the same thing on the compact logics. Those are running very similar programs, but we'll pick some other ones. Like I'll show you this UDT, it's pretty massive. I'll set it. Once you've done that, you can come to the server portion if you're using any type of encryption. Um, if you wanted to make the authentication to be able to connect to the server credentials or certificate base, you could turn that on here. I'm not doing that. Um, this is where you'd manage those certificates. You can set the module to start and it will take it a few seconds to get started. Um, that's based off of how much data we're gathering from the PLCs, how slow your network is to respond to the module, et cetera. But once that's done, we have a free OPC UA client, a lot of people do, um, but I'll use that to test. So I can come right here. You can see I've input the endpoints, just OPC TCP, the IP address of the module, 4897 is the port, and then Softing Rockwell Automation. I come in here and I turn this back to green. I can do rebrowse node. And you can see here's our control logics that we configured and the tags that it has access to. And here's the compact logics and the tags that it has underneath it as well. And you can see that UDT is quite massive, um, but we have all those in there. So that's it. Pretty simple configuration. If we wanted to look at an actual value and click on it, see that here. Um, for example, we can look at this counter and see it, if we were to look at car paint, the value, if we actually wanted to write something to it, say 2400, hit that. And you can see it changed it there as well. But I did get an error, so I wonder if that's one of the ones that I just made visible. Yeah, so I didn't mark that as right, so that's why that showed up the way that it did. Um, but there you go, pretty simple to configure. Try to keep it as easy as possible for the end customer and you all to, to get this up and running. Happy to answer any questions if you want to reach out to us, um, sales at softing.us or support at softing.us if, um, if you need support on one of our products. Have a good one. Bye.